Do they even, I'm going to make the banana donuts. Yes. Mash two bananas. Once you, once you mash the bananas, transfer it to a big bowl. Like so. Then do the one egg. And you'll also need you need also two thirds cup of flour. As you can see I'm using gluten free flour. You would need a quarter cup of quarter cup of margarine or butter. Like so. You would need a quarter cup of sugar. And mix it. Now that you mix it, you will need to add some of the liquid stuff. Right, vanilla. You need one teaspoon of vanilla. And let me look at the recipe. And and you will need uh, one teaspoon of baking powder. This part is optional, a splash of one. And just mix it really good in. Just mix it. Whip, make that good song, whip it, whip it real good. After you put the salt in, add one teaspoon of salt, you should mix it with the hand mixer that you should already have, and it should come out to like, not too runny, but it should be this consistency. Now it's time to move it to your donut pans. Oh yeah, by the way, you should probably preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You either can have two options, do it in the big pan, or these no BB mini donuts. As you can see as in my previous time lapse, I did twelve mini donuts and three big ones. Now we should put them in the oven for 15 minutes. As you can see, they don't really done after 13 minutes. So I'll leave them in for another two or so minutes. As you can see, even after a couple extra minutes, they're still not ready. 
So, uh, I found out you should do, bake the donuts for 20 minutes instead of the 13 minutes, like I said, and put it on boil until they're nice and golden like this. Now you take it out of the oven and let them cool. Because, you know, it's cool like